Hi, this is Aaron Ames with the Lone Star Conference. Today I'm joined by Elizabeth Haddock. She's a senior on the women's golf team and president of the Student Athletic Advisory Committee here at a and Kingsville. And thank you for joining us on Havelino Week. Oh, no problem. It's my pleasure. Now, one of the reasons we wanted to talk to you is as president of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, you, we've had a lot of success in that area, getting, you know, pushing the name out there into the community, mm -hmm. doing a lot of community types of service. What do you guys have on tap this year? Um, we're pretty much going to do some of the same things we did last year in terms of community service. Um, we did some stuff at uh, some of the nursing homes here in town. Um, we try to do some, we incorporate things with children where we get them involved so they can get to meet athletes as well. Uh, a lot of different types of activities, anything from camp food drives to actually being out there in the public with uh, physical people and getting to interact with them. We're going to try and incorporate a lot of different types of types of community service that try to bring the community back together as well as public athletics to the community. Now, as someone who's been involved this being your fourth year involved with student with the SAC, mm -hmm. you know, you guys have had a lot of success with the Lone Star Conference SAC Cup. Tell me about that and how, you know, kind of supporting that cause that, you know, the Lone Star Conference is putting out there and being out there in the community with the support. What that means to you and the fact that you guys have won three in a row. That's three out of the four, actually, since it started. Uh, the SAC Cup, to me personally, means a big deal. And to, to our SAC committee, it's one of the things that we strive for every year. That's what we push for. We push to win the SAC Cup. We push to beat everyone in our conference in these activities. And um, it means a lot of different things. I think everyone takes something out of it personally. Um, I know some people feel that the SAC Cup, winning the SAC Cup, helps them because they're actually getting to do stuff with the community and they feel like they're going towards a better cause. And other people, they feel like um, at least they're getting to, even if we don't win, we're still getting out there. We're, it's something to push us to do more and more and more instead of just trying to be at the basic and be at the minimum level that we can do as a community, like as a whole. Um, we have so many athletes here on campus who have so much to give and we put a ton of time into it trying to get different activities and get different people involved, like I said earlier. And I feel that a lot of the athletes take pride in getting to know our community, especially if they're not from the area, and trying to get their name out there and get, you know, people involved with public athletics. And I feel like the SAT Cup, winning the SAT Cup is just another way to get recognition and get another way to get our name out there so that people know that we're trying to do good and trying to better probably the to help an environment better our school in terms of athletics and not just off on the field, but off the field as well. Now, and I'm sure as people see that you guys are just more than athletes, you know, maybe some who aren't so much supporters of athletics, which is they're just not into sports. Mm -hmm. If they see you out there supporting the community and supporting different, you know, entities, going to the nursing homes, you know, different charities and things like that, probably makes them more willing, even though they may not be the greatest fan of sports in general, to come out and support you all in return. Oh, exactly. I, I think you hit that spot on. Um, I, I know a couple people, uh, for example, personally, who aren't really involved in sports, don't really, you know, want to do anything in terms of watching the games or giving money necessarily to the athletes programs themselves. But um, they found out that we would do Make-A-Wish, where we try to raise money to make um, someone with cancer, like, wish come true and get them to what they want to do um, but with their life and their dreams. And um, and they started giving money and getting involved with that aspect because Make-A-Wish is such a huge charity throughout the nation, not just here in Kingsville. And so they're starting to get involved through athletics by helping with things that are outside of athletics with SAC. And they're getting to meet the athletes um, through doing that stuff. And I feel like by them coming into the athletic program through something that's not sport-based and getting to meet the athletes and see the type of people that we are and how much we want to do for others and for the program itself, I feel like it helps bring more people in and get them tied into hobbling athletics and the legacy that we can set here with it. Now, I mean, I know obviously the SAC committee spends a lot of time on putting these events together. Is Are the coaches fully on board with this? And is this something you know, that, you know, as you bring in newcomers that you talk to them about and, you know, how successful we've been, you know, not only been on the field with all the different sports, but
but off of it and giving back to the community? Um, the coaches are pretty supportive. The way that you can even get onto the SAG committee, anyone is welcome to the meetings. Any of the athletes can come, anyone can participate, but to be on the actual SAC committee, uh, you have to be voted on, but you have to put in by your coach. So your coaches have to already see something in you that you'll put in time outside of your schoolwork and outside of your practices to do something for the team. So they have to look at the athletes and look at what they can bring to, you know, SAC and the program that we've started here. And um, so you get put on by your coaches. Um, the coaches don't necessarily come to the meetings, and so they're not involved in any of the decision-making or anything like that. But once we let them know what we're going to be doing, here's the dates, here's the times for the community service, the coaches are really supportive of getting the athletes there, and the coaches will even come and help do the community service and do the activities, and they're really supportive of what we're trying to do. Well, I want to thank you for taking the time to meet with us today. Uh, you. you know, what SAC does, and having won three of the first four Lone Star uh, SAC Cubs. Uh, good luck in golf and good luck with SAC this year as you guys go forward for that fourth cup. Uh, we appreciate you joining us today, and we'll be back with you with more of Lone Star Conference Week in Havelina Week.